In the last video, we saw how to make our app run as a desktop app, right? In this video, we'll first of all, guys, this is running entirely as a desktop app. Okay, I am not like uh, tricking you into. Okay, I have no servers running. Uh, this is completely running independently as a native desktop application in say using the Electron uh, framework. Anyway, uh, okay, for lack of a better word, let's make our app look more fancy okay let's add some eye candy inside this the first thing is i'll remove this entire frame this frame looks like rather old school right so first i'll remove that frame i'll simply add frame sorry frame faults okay and i'll uh, run the build once again okay build is almost done wow now there is no frame, right? Wow, it looks cool, right? First of all, let's remove this padding first. There is some ugly padding all around uh, our application, right? First, let's, I think it's the default padding applied from the HTML and body tags. Let's go ahead and remove that. And then we'll make the app frameless at last. For now, we'll remove this. Uh, what uh, padding to remove the padding I'll get into index.html and uh, uh, add some code here style sorry uh, margin zero uh, padding zero And I'll use the same code here as well. Okay, now let's see if the padding vanishes. Hmm, it vanishes, right? The app looks like it's overflowing out. You can see this, right? Even if you log in, you will observe that wonderful effect. Oh, the bottom there is still the scroll bar. We need to get, uh, we need to remove it. Cool, right? Oh, it's not a scroll bar. If it's a scroll bar, then why didn't it? Why did it appear? Anyway, you can see that the padding is now completely removed, right? Except for the bottom. These are code this designed specifically like that. Uh, what was the code for login page? Yeah, login page, right? Let's get into login page. Oh yeah, here maximum height I have reduced 20 pixels right this is probably the reason let's just remove this and uh, run the build once again okay now i'll run and let's hope that the bottom also looks overflowing wow like we guessed that was the reason guys now uh, bottom also you could see that the, the, the that is the padding around the uh thing has disappeared right and the app looks really cool now if we do frameless then obviously it will look uh, fantastic i guess each and every time you need to take a build guys there is something for uh, uh, bringing in the real time here as well but i don't want to uh, introduce that now and uh, you know confuse you guys okay some dog started barking anyway end.js Go oh, here in the frame faults. Wow, it looks really, really cool, right? It's a app of functions as a native desktop app. Let's log in. Wow, awesome, guys, right? Let's upload ourselves. Anyway, uh, if you notice now, you can't simply like, you can simply select stuff inside the app. Also, you can't drag this app. See, I'm trying to drag this uh, to bring it to the center, but I am unable to do so. So, in our next uh, next uh, video, we'll see uh, how to make this. I mean, how to remove this uh, selecting uh, thing. Uh, selecting thing. How do we say that? How to remove the ability to allow the user to select stuff inside the app, as well as how to make this draggable. Uh, by clicking and dragging uh, on any one region for instance in this case in, uh, it's the title bar region uh, yeah we'll see that how to we'll see how to do that in our uh, next video thanks